Well, Section 1 of the 26th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution says the right of citizens of the United States who are 18 years of age or older to vote shall not be denied or abridged by the United States or by any state on account of age. Well, earlier this year, Arizona passed a law slated to take effect in 2023 that requires voters to provide proof of U.S. citizenship to vote in federal elections. But just this week, Biden's Department of Justice came out and said that they are suing Arizona over this new law. Well, here to give us insight is Arizona's Attorney General Mark Burnovich. General, welcome to the show. So tell me if I'm right here. The Department of Justice comes out and says you can't check if people are U.S. citizens to vote in federal elections in Arizona. Is that right? Yes. And just so we're clear, the law actually is specific to voting for in presidential elections and if you want to vote by mail. And so this is a common sense election integrity measure, and it's the height of hypocrisy and absurdity. While Joe Biden is letting millions of people illegally enter our country, he doesn't want Arizona to be able to check for citizenship when you vote. So wait, so what are you guys doing? Back? Yeah. Well, you know, you guys know, I, I have been a fighter my entire career. So once again, it's another lawsuit, Brnovich v. Biden. As you know, I was at the U.S. Supreme Court earlier this year, taking on the Biden administration where they tried to rescind the public charge rule. We fought him and won successfully. Our lawyers fought in federal court to stop him from rescinding Title 42. So now the Biden administration and the, the hard left that control the Department of Justice are coming after Arizona. And I'm saying, bring it on, because I'm going to stand up, not only for Arizona, but the ability of all states to enact common sense election integrity measures to protect the process and make sure only citizens vote in our elections. Hey, General, I want to switch gears a little bit. Um, big win for the pro-life community, obviously, when the court struck down Roe versus Wade, sent it back to the states to decide. But Planned Parenthood is going after every pro-life state. So I guess, you know, the question is, what are you guys doing in Arizona to protect yourself from lawsuits? And, and are you going to have to be on defense now? Because uh, it seems to me that Unfortunately, it looks like Planned Parenthood is going after, is getting some, some wins under their belt in states like Kentucky, where a federal judge has temporarily blocked that state's abortion ban. Well, you know, Sean, we had a case, um, a companion case, the Dobbs case, which was called um, Isaacson versus Brnovich, Brnovich versus Isaacson, where I stood up to protect the unborn because the, you know, we have a law that says if, if just because a baby may have a defect, you can't abort it uh, for some genetic abnormality. I stood up, so we actually have a hearing this Friday, uh, and we have an, a brief due at the Ninth Circuit related to um, some of Arizona's pro-life statutes. So I'm on record saying, and I, I did catch a lot of heat from a lot of the, you know, the moderates and the lefties, but the Arizona law says, it was reenacted in 1977, Title 13-3603, that abortions are illegal in Arizona except to save the life of the mother. So that's the law. The left is trying to do everything they can, whether it's in the courtroom or the court of a public opinion, to undermine our position. And so it's important for principled conservatives to stand up now and to have the back of folks like myself who have been in the courtrooms and been all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court protecting life. So I don't have a lot of time left, but you're actually at odds with your governor, Ducey, on a law that he signed banning abortion at 15 weeks. Um, you said that you would actually fight this one in the courts. Are you going to compromise here? How's this one going to play out? Only about 30 seconds. Look, I mean, when the governor tried to do a lockdown during COVID, I, I sided with the bar owners and restaurants saying that was unconstitutional. And with all due respect to anybody, whoever's out there, when the legislature passed the bill um, this year, they included specific language that said, 13-3603 is not repealed, it is the law. So that's the black letter of the law that the legislature passed and the governor signed this year. All right, Attorney General Mark Burnovich, thanks for being here. Good to see you this evening. Thank you.